Hi, I'm Natalie Munson, Startup Solutions Architect at AWS. In this video, I demonstrate two important features for your AWS account. The first is multi-factor authentication to help protect your AWS resources, and the second is budget alerts to give you control over your spend. I recommend you configure both features before you start using your AWS Activate credits. Let's get started. First, let's enable AWS Multi-Factor Authentication, also known as MFA. MFA is a security tool to protect your account from unauthorized access. Beyond requiring a password for your root account, multi-factor means you'll also set up another way to verify your identity. Don't worry, login will remain simple and straightforward. To enable AWS MFA in the AWS Management Console, navigate to My Security Credentials. Choose Multi-Factor Authentication and click Assign MFA Device. Then, choose the type of multi-factor device you want to use. If you don't have a hardware MFA device, use a virtual MFA device to get started. A virtual MFA device is an app that runs on your phone, such as Google Authenticator. If you use the Google Authenticator app, you'll scan a QR code on the screen using your phone to generate unique Authenticator keys. Input them in the AWS Management Console and you're all set. Next time you log in, you'll use your regular credentials as well as an MFA password. Everything will continue to work just as before. It's a simple, important step to safeguard your account. Next, let's create a budget alert. This ensures you'll get an alert if your AWS spend exceeds a set level. Not only will it help you avoid surprises, it'll help you use your credits more effectively. Navigate to AWS Budgets in the AWS Management Console, then select Create a Budget. Choose the type of budget you want to create. We will create a cost budget in this tutorial. Next, click Set up your budget to put in your preferred budget details. Enter a name, period, and its effective dates. We will choose Recurring so we are notified every month. Select Fixed and enter a budgeted amount that you don't want to go over. Furthermore, you can define additional budget parameters as seen here. I'm going to leave these all as default, except for the last section where I will include costs related to credits. This includes the credits related to Activate. Then click Configure Thresholds. You can choose between actual and forecasted costs. Choose forecasted costs. Put in the percentage threshold of when you want to be notified. I'm doing 80%. Now set up your notifications. I'm adding my email address, and you can also send SNS notifications that will integrate with other services in your organization. At the bottom of this window, you may also add budget alarm actions. In this way, you can truly automate your cost management, such as built-in features to stop EC2 or RDS instances, but we will skip them for this tutorial. Click Confirm Budget. Review your budget details and click Create. You'll see a banner confirming your budget was successfully created. That's it for this short video. We hope you've seen how easy it is to configure MFA to protect your AWS environment and set up budget alerts to help control and manage your spend on AWS. If you haven't already, we encourage you to explore the AWS Activate console. You'll find real-time updates on the health of your AWS environment, the ability to track and monitor your credits and costs, technical recommendations, and exclusive offers from trusted organizations. Have fun and build on.